this may be the most delicious cake I've ever made. Lemon cake with strawberry lemon lavender jam between the layers. Lavender infused lemon syrup comes through every bite and more lavender is the icing on this cake. Of course, mom is getting the most fabulous cake for Mother's Day, that goes without saying. But what she is not expecting this year are these jars of Silda's jam as the gift that keeps on giving well after this cake is gone. Yes, once again, I've teamed up with Silda's jam with the cutest and most delicious gift you can ever give. It is absolutely the best jam I've ever tasted in the most beautiful flavor combinations you can ever imagine. Once again, it's my throw it all into the food processor cake mix method. Well, you are literally throwing all the ingredients into the food processor. It's nothing more than flour, sugar, plant milk, oil, lemon juice and zest, and some baking powder, baking soda, and salt. It really doesn't get any easier. Now, normally I bake my cakes into seven inch layers, but today I'm going to use six inch layers instead for just a slightly smaller cake for mom. As always, the recipe ingredients and quantities are listed out on my website at gretchensveganbakery.com. Now into the oven they go, and lavender buttercream is up next. So today I'm using my Italian buttercream recipe, which is essentially just pouring a hot sugar syrup into whipping aquafaba for the most beautiful stiff and glossy meringue-based buttercream you'll ever taste. I do have a full-length video tutorial for this recipe, so you're going to want to go ahead and watch that one. As a matter of fact, you should probably just binge watch all of my videos for a while. You'll be such a better baker afterwards, I promise. So I'm infusing lavender into this buttercream and I've combined some lavender flowers with some wolfberry powder steeped into a bit of water for some homemade violet color with the flavor of lavender. All right, we have one more thing to do and then we can get to building this cake. Lavender syrup with some leftover lemon simple syrup from making those candied lemons. Oh wait, I still haven't showed you how to make the candied lemons. Okay, wow, this really is a big project, but come on, mom is totally worth all this effort. I'll get to the candied lemon part soon, so just hold that thought. Okay, now that we have all of our components ready to go, we can check out this beautiful sponge cake and the texture of this cake. It's a finely textured, almost like pound cake, and it really does hold up to an addition of simple syrup. Sometimes people ask me why I don't often use simple syrup in my cakes, and vegan cakes just are so naturally moist to begin with that an addition of simple syrup could make it a little bit soggy, so I don't often do it, but this recipe is absolutely perfect and takes on a simple syrup really nicely. So for that filling, the Silda's Strawberry Lemon Lavender Jam, of course. Did I mention how much I love this jam? Listen, you guys know that I don't do product reviews very often because I really have to stand behind a product before I go announcing it to the world. Well, here I am announcing to the world that I love Silda's jam because instead of a mouthful of sugar like we're used to in jam and jelly, Silda's jam is a burst of fresh fruit with a subtle note of maple syrup because they use New York State maple syrup instead of refined white sugar. So it's just so delicious. You really should check them out since they so graciously sponsored this video. All right, enough of me gushing about Silda's jam. I've also added some fresh strawberries to my filling and in an instant, this cake is almost done. into the refrigerator to set up before I finish off the decoration. And now we can talk about the homemade candied lemon. And this part is completely optional, but I really wanted to add something special as the decor to this cake. And 
It's really easy to make candied lemon. All you need is equal parts sugar and water. You could use any sugar that you like, agave or maple, like anything. And then some perfectly sliced lemons get dunked right into the boiling sugar solution. Just try to get them about eighth of an inch thick so that they're very evenly sliced. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and let that simmer for just about 30 minutes. I do love having candied fruit on hand in the refrigerator for a last minute cake like this one. Well, this wasn't quite last minute, but it's nice to have candied lemon in the refrigerator for whenever you need it. Ooh, just as beautiful inside as it is on the outside. This is one sturdy cake. This cake is not trying to flop over. I really love the texture. It's more like a, like a butter cake or a pound cake. Very finely textured, almost velvety. Mmm, with the perfect amount of lemon balanced with lavender. This strawberry lemon lavender jam, let me just tell you, this cake is so good. I can't believe the layers and layers of flavors going on inside this cake. So off I go. I'm going to have to make another one of these for my mom because I just cut into this one. And don't forget the gift of jam from Silda's Jam. So definitely go head over to their website and see all of the amazing flavors they've got going on. And of course, head over to my website to grab these recipes. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, be sure to comment below, like and share, and of course, subscribe. And and until next time, everyone, happy vegan baking. Bye for now.